So now that we've got a formula <clears throat> for simple harmonic motion with reference to the displacement of the object undergoing simple harmonic motion, and that formula was y equals um, a sine theta, that's the amplitude times sine of the, the angle, um, and we decided that we could also write that as y equals um, a sine omega t. We're now going to look at uh, an equation um, for the velocity, how we might um, work out the velocity at any point in the phasor diagram. And so we'll start off again um, with a reference from equilibrium. So that's where the radius is pointing to the right hand side. And the object begins at equilibrium. We'll consider that the object has moved through a certain angle, theta. So it's the object has moved anti-clockwise around the phasor. And in reality, that just means that the object has oscillated upwards um, from its equilibrium position. Uh, if we're considering the mass on the spring, so if I write in here our angle theta. Okay, now last time we were interested in a vertical line here for the displacement. But I want you to recall with circular motion how we draw the velocity at any point on an, of an object and its circular path. And so hopefully you recall that the velocity of an object undergoing circular motion is always at tangent to the circle. So if I draw in a little blue arrow here, and that represents our velocity v um, for the object considered as a phasor. Now, I'm going to no longer refer to this as v because we're going to use the amplitude a, which is equivalent to the radius. Um, and I'm going to remind you that linear velocity is equal to the radius times the angular velocity. And so we can also say that the velocity is equal to A, the amplitude, because that's equivalent to the radius, times omega. So I'm now going to go back and I'm going to change that reference to V. And I'm going to call that blue line a omega. Okay, so that's just the, the the velocity of the object as it follows a circular path. And the reason I've changed that is because we're going to consider velocity in the vertical direction, since the can, since the situation we're thinking about is a mass on a spring, and it's oscillating upwards and downwards. And so we want to know its um, linear velocity at any point in its journey. All right. Hopefully, you managed to take most of that in. Um, the, if we draw another line, black, uh, I'll use a green line, from here, then the green line would represent the vertical velocity that we're actually interested in. And so now I'm going to refer to that arrow as our, as the velocity we're actually trying to find. Okay. Now, because the, the blue line, the blue arrow, is perpendicular to this red arrow here, um, that is a right angle. And so hopefully you can see that this angle in here will also be theta. And if you're not sure about that, then draw the, extend the green line down. And you can look at the angles made in the triangle, subtract 90 degrees from here, the angle formed in here, and that should help you understand why that is also theta. Okay, so now we've got a situation where we can start to consider the, the green velocity here. And so we have, if we have the angle theta and we have um, the amplitude 
and omega values, that would represent the hypotenuse of a triangle. So if I draw in the triangle with a, a yellow line here, um, let me do that with a straight line. And you should see that we've got a triangle, and so we can apply a bit of trigonometry. And so if we want to know the V value, that's this velocity that's circled here, then we could say that that is equal to, because it's um, the adjacent, and we have the hypotenuse noted down as well, then if we have the angle theta, that would be V equals cosine theta times the amplitude times um, the angular velocity. And so we more often see that written as V equals amplitude times angular velocity cosine theta. And we can also substitute in, again, since theta is equal to omega t, we can substitute that in and we end up with V is equal to A omega cosine theta. Well, sorry, not theta. Omega t. So I've just substituted in for theta this omega t value. 